I made a video about Reels, which is the tape machine simulator from Audio Thing, and it generated quite a polarised response. There were some people saying, well, why would we do this, or ridiculous, or why? Well, okay, yes, I, I suppose we've been spent years and years trying to get to the point we are now where we're recording in 24-bit sort of pristine digital audio, and that's absolutely fine. But I've got my keyboard set up here, and I'm going to put the Fender Rhodes plug-in through this, and I think you will find that it makes a massive difference with reels. It sounds a bit like you've put the Fender Rhodes through a guitar amp, but it's better than putting it through a guitar amp on... Uh, on Logic here. Um, the only other solution, of course, is to plug into your valve amp that you have in your studio. So what I've got also, if you look at your screen, there's a track there. There's two blue audio tracks, a bass and a guitar, and then a drum rhythm above it. And then the one mark record is the Fender Rhodes. So I'm just going to play the keyboard on its own just for a bit and this is the Fender Rhodes that you get through Contact which is uh, on the complete app that you can get on your uh, Mac and it's great it's a really good sound <laughs> I used to have a Fender Rhodes 88 suitcase. You know, I couldn't carry it anymore and it was just basically a bit of a nuisance. Sold it. Seen the prices recently? Oh well, win some, you lose some. Now, that Fender Rhodes, it sounds very silky, very nice indeed. But if I put it through reels, you can get some of those really sort of compressed electric piano sounds of the 70s. So it's not just this tape machine simulator. You can use it to do all sorts of things. As you can see with the settings there, got a tiny bit of the wow and the flutter because I quite like that pitch variation on a Fender Rhodes sometimes. No harshness, as it's called, but I have put the pre-emphasis up, which is the bottom control there to, to sort of wake the top end up a little bit. And then ducking is like a compressor and then crosstalk to make it sort of more of a mono-y sort of sound. It is anyway. It won't make much difference with the crosstalk control. I've not used any of the hiss or the motor noise. You know, I don't need those. Uh, but I have loaded up master a little bit uh, on the input and then brought it down on the output. So you can get a little bit of overdrive as well when you really hit it one. Now, if I just play a chord quite harshly with the thing uh, bypassed, you can see on the meters... It's kind of overloading that channel. Now, if I switch audio thing, the plug-in on, and just reset that thing again. It's got more energy, yet the level is lower. So if I just play a couple of things with it bypassed and then with the reel. can get these 70s electric piano sounds with this plugin. So I'm more, this video really is about just seeing what you can do with this thing instead of just strapping it over the master output. Perhaps I should have done that in the last video, but this is a really a follow on from it. So I've got the track now, which I'm going to play and it's just like a, well, I'll play it to you. And I'm going to play, start playing a solo with no plugin, no reels plugin. So just the roads on its own. Now with it on. now turn that Fender Rose into a solo instrument because actually I wasn't playing very hard at all but as you go up the the uh, the octaves on the keyboard the the reels plug-in really does wake up that piano and you can just tickle it which means that you're not having to play it so harshly all the time when I used to do lots of gigs with the roads I would need the monitor speaker that's come comes back to me I'd need that on full volume no one I haven't got any hearing left but it's basically just because I wanted to be able to play quietly and to have all that dynamic control and not feel stressed when I'm playing a solo and it does it really nicely with this plug-in <laughs> Yeah, 
You can hear what that wow and flutter does. It's not so comfortable up there, but just a tiny bit really adds a bit of character. And that's what it's about. It's about character. The Fender Rhodes plugin on Contact is the same Fender Rhodes plugin that exists everywhere else in the world. So when you use it, you want to try and do something different with it. Of course, you can put it through logic compressors, but for me, this plugin really does wake it up. I've been playing with this a lot since I downloaded it, and especially with the Rhodes, it just has so much energy, so much sort of bite to it just with this plugin. So it's very much well worth a purchase and hopefully that will be less in on the sort of, maybe that will annoy fewer people perhaps.